Immerse has just come out with their beta for their multi-screen solution to stream screens from your Mac to the Vision Pro. As you probably know, if you're doing the straight just connect uh, via Vision OS, you only have one display. So this should allow you to have multiple displays, uh, just like the Quest versions of this app. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. We've got the Immersed desktop agent open right here. We're gonna open up Immersed. And we've got three screens right in front of us. Uh, I noticed that we have a menu in front of me here. Uh, we got, the screens are a little bit off center. So let me go ahead and have a straight view. I'm gonna click the crown. Perfect. Ooh, all right, let's just disconnect it for a second. Let's try again. All right, we're back in. Again, I noticed that it kind of launches with the screens a little bit off center, but if I go ahead, reset my view, long press, it resets perfectly. Three screens by default. If I click into the Immerse settings, I can see two virtual displays, which is interesting. One's at 1920 by 1080, and this one is at 1440 by 900. A little strange that that's the default. It looks like it's the same resolution though across these different screens, so not too sure what's going on there. If I mess with one of them though, and let's say virtual display one, let's change that to 1920 by 1080. Okay, I see it, it changed this one here. I've moved this screen over to the 1920 by 1080. Looks like a great resolution to work with. This one also seems about the same, so not sure. Let's try one more thing. We're gonna configure virtual display one, which we now know is over here. Let's go ahead and just make it the smallest resolution or biggest, however you think about it. And now this just popped back over here. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look very good. So I think the 1920 by 1080 is a good setting. All right, very clear, very readable. I do notice that when I turn my head like this a little bit, I see a slight pixelation in my peripheral. Not a big deal, maybe a little bit distracting, but that's okay to work with. This menu right here doesn't really go away, but I can click on it. And monitor controls here does not work. I have to do it on the desktop agent here. And then there's nothing else in this beta that we can play with. So we'll close that. This menu will move here. Something I noticed is uh, moving the screens around in Immersed, it doesn't feel quite as smooth as Vision OS when I'm moving a screen around. For example, if I were to open up music, this is just a very smooth look here. Now, I did just open another app and it looks like Immersed just closed. So let's see if I bring this right back open. It has to reconnect. So. Confirming there that we can't be running any Vision OS apps, I don't think, alongside the immersed windows, which that's a bit of a limiting factor. I would imagine if you just want to be straight up productive, just forget about Vision OS and have your few screens here, that works, but that is a limitation. Resetting my view again, because again, it kind of opened up offset. Now we are back. Let's get this screen live. Let's look at how the mouse interacts with these windows. As I go between, there's a slight kind of difference in where it should be landing. You know, it's a little bit further up when we go over to the right screen. If I were to move the screen to offset that, so it looks like I have to move the screen down a little bit. Let's see if that actually fixes it. And that does seem to fix it there, but you would want these the mouse to work perfectly when you are uh, moving your screens around. So if we just move it up here and then it kind of gets way offset. If we move the screen way up here, now that I go here, that's not, that's hitting the edge, which is correct. If I go up, it's still a little bit off center. And that, the fact that it's behaving kind of as it should up and down instead of left and right, I mean, that's a good sign. I'm sure this is something they'll be able to work on. Uh, but out the box, just a little bit messed up in terms of the alignment. If I recall correctly, I think on the Quest version, uh, when you would move a screen like this, it would still 
be where you last left it. So this is a much better type of integration, but still needs some work. Uh, when you select a screen, you can see a bar kind of like Vision OS, you can move it around. But this one that I've moved, I don't know what's going on here. Let me see if I move this way. Oh, see, so you have that white, it covers, that. My, this screen here is covering that bar. So if I cover it, I can't move this screen anymore. Easy enough to fix, go like that, go like this. And, you know, typically pretty smooth, but little things like that for the UI, if you don't really know what to look out for, it might be a little confusing. In terms of resizing the screens, we can make it right, really nice and big. That works just fine. If I make it big like this and move it back, let's see how the mouse still interacts, you know, pretty good, as you'd expect. I'll move this back, resize it a little smaller. Now this is a workflow that I can get behind right here. Uh, I see things like full pass-through seating. Again, this is stuff that I'm assuming is gonna come out uh, when we're out of beta, but let's see if the regular vision environment pops in. I can't use the environments from Vision OS when this is running, it's just pass-through. So that's another limitation right now with the beta. In terms of latency, as I move my mouse around, let me actually show you here. You can kind of see if I move this down, you can see latency is pretty solid. I mean. This compared to Vision OS, I don't really think I notice any difference. So that's great. When it comes to typing, no problem there. Yeah, that all works totally fine. Not too bad. Uh, another slight difference between just Vision OS screen mirroring versus Immersed is that this screen is still staying on. So this is just a mirror of this screen. Then we have our extended displays here. Of course, I can just turn this off. But uh, you know, by default with Vision OS, the screen would just turn off and you have this up. Uh, I don't know if they if the immersed app could even control the computer and make the screen go off when you have it connected. That's probably what it should do. But beyond that, resolution looks good. Latency is good. The screen positioning works really well. I'm excited to see what comes from this product once it's outside of beta. Uh, right now we see a few limitations, but I'll show you just again really nice and smooth moving the screens around. I really could see myself using this when I have to have a few different Mac windows open at the same time. In my day-to-day, -day, if I just need a couple windows open, I'll probably just use Vision OS, but this is definitely workable and usable just out of the box as a beta. Pretty impressed with what I see so far and excited to see what comes of this in the future. And let's close out with just some really big screens surrounding us. I'd say this is actually another little bug. When these screens are kind of different sizes, the arrow to move this screen is actually over here. So that's a little strange, not sure what's going on there, but we can go ahead and make this a nice big display. Again, it looks like I moved them a little bit off center. Let's see if I reset my view. Yeah, they're still, that, that's my fault though. So I can move these over here. Uh, and there you have it. I would also say compared to the Quest version, the hand tracking is much smoother out of the box. Uh, the latency seems better. And yeah, pretty happy with it. So let me know if you guys have any specific questions in the comments. Very curious to see what questions you guys have and see if I can answer them. In the meantime, though, I uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you and see you on the next one.